Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to copy GPX files from the internet onto your Garmin device or other device that accepts GPX files. There's three basic steps to loading a GPX file on your device. First, obtain the files either through email or downloading them from a website. I'll show you how to get them from a Google shared folder. After you've got the files on your computer, you copy them to your GPS device. And after they're on your device, you verify that they come up and they're visible. So let's start with getting the files from the internet to our computer. So I've been given the URL or link of a Google shared folder and I've displayed that here. Now when it comes up it shows me uh, a couple of files. They end with GPX. You can see this uh, Carson Ride Saturday Part B GPX. I'm going to display this in a list form. It's a little easier to see. So we've got these four files here ending with GPX extension. We're going to download each one. To do that, we can right-click on each one and say download. You can't see this downloading. It's, it's on the bottom of my screen, but it's downloading each file. Alternatively, we can download all of them at once by selecting them, right-clicking and say download. But that will end up generating a zip file, which is okay, but you have to know how to unzip it. On the Macintosh, I assume it's something similar. I'm using the Chrome browser, but... Uh, the results should be the same. Now we're going to go to our download folder. You'll have to do that on your PC or Mac, however you do that, and you have to find out where it is. I'll bring them up here. Here's my download folder. And uh, I've downloaded one of these more than once, so I'll delete that to make it a little simpler. Here's the zip file that had them all in there. I'm going to delete that. So we've got our four GPX files. And on the right side, I plugged in uh, actually two different GPS units. I have a Montana and a Zumo. So after they've been plugged in, they'll come up. Uh, the way to see this window on Windows is to hit the Windows E key. That's the Explorer key. Uh, there's many ways to get that, but you need to figure out how, how to get up the Explorer window that shows the file system, your computer, things like that. And under computer, you'll see your disk drives, and then here's my Garmin Montana. Here's my Zumo. My Montana has an extra memory chip in it, uh, the SD card, and um, that shows here as well. So let's just uh, assume we have a single uh, disk drive showing for our Garmin device. What we want to do is uh, we want to click on that, and we'll see we'll always see a Garmin folder. Now notice my device is also named Garmin. So I don't want you to be confused by that. Inside my Garmin device is a folder named Garmin. If we click the little plus key, that will expand uh, the folders that are in, in the device. And here's documents in Garmin, same thing that shows over here. We now expand the Garmin folder. And in there will be a GPX folder. We can expand that if we want. If we click on the GPX folder, we'll see what's in there, which is archive, nav, and current. Same as over here. Our GPX files go right at this level, right here. They don't go in archive, they don't go nav, and they don't go in current. They just go right here. To copy these, all we have to do is drag them from our download area over to the GPX folder. I'll do that by just dragging and selecting them, copy, dragging and letting off, and they'll be copied over. And that's all there is to it. We're done. We can now pull the cord on the device and verify that they work. Now I also have a Zumo plugged in at the same time as with my Montana. Let me show you how to copy the files to the Zumo. It's the same process. Let's expand the Zumo here. Uh, it has an internal storage and a memory chip. I'll expand internal storage. I'll click on the GPX folder. And again, we see archive and current. We don't care about those. We take our four GPX files, copy them, the mo copy them over to the GPX folder. And uh, just make sure you can see that up here, internal storage GPX. They belong inside the GPX folder, but not in any folder inside it. You don't want to put them in archive or anywhere else. All right, now you can uh, pull the plug on the device and verify that the tracks are okay.